guys what's up and welcome to or welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be my September favorites I don't have too many things to share with you today but I definitely have some goodies to mention I have a few beauty products and then just some lifestyle things and academic stuff as well before we get into my favorites though I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe to my channel I upload videos two times a week my upload schedule has been a little bit off since school started picking up my schedule every week with like class well my class schedule every week is the same but the amount of work that I have to do isn't always the same every week so I'm trying to get two videos up each week and I have been successful in doing that but it hasn't been my normal Tuesday Sunday upload schedule so bear with me as we kind of navigate this very busy season of life but I can promise you there's definitely going to be at least one hopefully two videos up every week um so anyways if you're into uh beauty fashion and lifestyle related content I would love to have you back here now let's get into my September favorites. All right, I'm going to start off with some beauty stuff. The first being this Morphe palette. Now I have been getting ready generally pretty much every single day for classes just because it helps me feel a little bit more ready for the day and prepared and just in a better mood overall. Although I have been getting ready, I haven't really been going full out on my eye looks mainly because it doesn't really matter over Zoom. I would much rather have kind of my base on with some blush and bronzer and then a little bit of a lip product than something on my eyes but when I have been doing my eyes I have been reaching for this Morphe um, 9T palette a lot. I'll show you guys what it looks like inside. I hate that the Morphe's have these little cards in them. It's so annoying. I like to keep them for the shade names because it is helpful but I just don't like the way that it is set up. Anyways, I've had this palette for a while and I've kind of just like used it off and on, but I have been wearing it a lot the past month. The colors are just so pretty and nice and warm, very folly. And surprisingly, I've been doing a lot of one shadow looks with this palette, especially using the shades like in this region here, just on my lid which has been working out really well. And I like the colors. They A lot of them look pretty similar on the eyes. I'm wearing it today. I think I used this shade down here just all over my lid. And then I just tapped a little bit of this shimmer shade here into like my inner corners on my lid. So yeah, I do really enjoy this palette. The shadow quality isn't like the most amazing ever, but it definitely performs well enough to just give you a nice like wash of color on your lid and give you a, a pretty good eye look. I will have it linked down below if you want to check it out. And as most Morphe products are, this is pretty affordable. Next up, I'm going to chat about this little guy. So this is the Glam Glow Bright Eyes. Um, I actually received this in last month's ipsy i think originally when i got this in my ipsy i was like wow i'm gonna use that up very quickly because it is so so tiny but i'm telling you you need the smallest amount of this to make a difference on your eyes so basically i've been using this pretty regularly for the past month or so and i have barely even made a dent i just like to swirl my finger around in here and then apply it on my under eyes even onto my lids a little bit too and in my inner corners on days where i'm not wearing too much makeup i really Really like putting this on before I go to work as well. It helps to just brighten it up, especially for the shifts that I start really early in the morning. Um, I usually don't wear makeup to work unless I'm working a night, like an evening shift, because then I'll already have it on for the day. But in the mornings, when I go to work for like 6.30 a.m., I don't bother putting makeup on but I do like to throw a little bit of this on my eyes just to kind of brighten things up a little bit and make me look a little more alive that early in the morning. This is also great too for just days when you don't really feel like getting ready. You can definitely pop a little bit of concealer on over top of this or just wear it by itself if you just want to make your eyes look a little bit brighter for the day. My next favorite is actually the lip product that I have on today. So this is the Dose of Colors liquid lipstick in the shade Campfire. I have been wearing this non-stop up for the past month. I feel like this color is my go-to like fall transition color. We're definitely getting into more fall like weather where it is appropriate to wear a little bit of a deeper lip but I always find the beginning and middle of September very challenging with regards to lip colors so this one I feel like is the perfect 
color for that time of year. It's not too red. Um, I like to save my red lips for more of like the late fall winter time. I'm just a little weird like that and I like my I like to wear deeper lip colors in the fall and then into the winter too. So I don't like to start doing that too too early when the weather isn't really appropriate for it. So this is definitely the perfect color for this kind of fall transition period. Well now it's like truly fall but it was perfect for that fall transition period that we just went through because it's not too red and it's not too deep. It kind of looks generally pretty close to most lip colors and it's not too too bold. So this is always my go-to for the early fall season. It's also pretty comfortable too. It's definitely a little bit dry and tight because it is a liquid lipstick but I find that it stays on all day and there's not a lot of transfer onto other things and onto my teeth too which is a big deal for me. The next one is a little bit of a cheat because I haven't been using it for that long but my next favorite is the Joy Liquid Blush from Rare Beauty. I have it on today and anytime that I've actually wanted to do a little bit more with my skin and get a little bit more ready for the day, I have been reaching for this blush nonstop. It's so pretty. I love the color. I did a Rare Beauty first impression kind of review video. If you want to see that, I can link it up above and down below. But I am obsessed with this blush. I feel like it looks so pretty. You definitely need the tiniest amount of this to make an impact on your cheeks. Even today, I used just like a little dab on my hand and then used a stippled brush to apply it to my cheeks and it still was like way too much. I had to tone it down a little bit with my sponge and it still looks a little bit heavy, but I think the color is so pretty, especially for fall. So if you have been wanting to try out some, wear, some rare beauty and products, I definitely recommend the blush. I can't get enough of this and I think it will be a favorite for me throughout the rest of the fall season then into winter too. The last beauty product that I have for my September favorites is actually a little sponge. So this is very dirty because I used it today, but this is just a little mini Real Techniques sponge and I have been enjoying using this for concealer. Now typically, basically for as long as I can remember, I've always used the same sponge for my concealer and foundation. I would just typically go in with the sponge for my foundation first and then just apply some concealer, you know, in the regions you generally apply concealer and use that same sponge, the same spot for, or to blend that concealer in. However, I have a bunch of these because I don't remember how, but I think I got a pack of like a, a variety pack of Real Techniques sponges and I just have never, used any of them and I'm like well maybe I should use them up because I've had them for forever so I started using this I think like more so in August and I've continued using it throughout the month of September and I really enjoy using this specifically for concealer. It is so tiny that it really gets up underneath of your eyes really well and it has this flat edge here which is really nice to kind of get right against your lash line and I just like the idea now of having a separate sponge for my concealer. I feel like my concealer looks so much nicer when I have a separate sponge to use for it especially if your concealer is a little bit of a different shade from your foundation. Personally, I like to go just a tad bit lighter with my concealer. However, I wasn't really noticing that sort of difference in color when I was using the same sponge for my foundation and concealer. So having this little guy as a separate sponge for my concealer has really helped with brightening my under eyes and just making things look a little bit more clean. The next favorite that I wanted to mention is actually some workouts. Um, so I've been trying to work out around four times a week since the start of this semester and I've been pretty successful in doing so. Um, I'm not like walking around on campus too much which is something that really bugs me. I'm not the biggest fan of doing cardio in the gym or cardio at home because in previous semesters I was doing a ton of walking to class and also to the gym and then back home to my apartment. Um, I just got a lot of steps in throughout the day which really helped I feel like with my fitness and not having to do cardio every single day in the gym um, but now that I don't really go to campus that much because I don't have classes on campus I'm pretty much just like in my apartment most days aside from the days that I go to work or days when I have to go on campus for something which really isn't that often um, I'm definitely a little concerned about my activity level. I would much rather be walking around campus and obviously I can still go, but it's just a little bit of a hassle. Um, 
and the gym isn't open at the times where I want to go to the gym so that's a whole nother story but anyways I have been looking for some like cardio and hit style workouts to just do at home um, like two or three days a week in the past I was never really into doing like the follow along workouts on YouTube it just really wasn't my thing I would kind of just prefer to do my own thing at the gym but especially with more cardio style workouts. I definitely enjoy following along. I feel like it keeps me way more motivated and I like having someone tell me what to do. So I will link some of my favorite workouts that I have found down below. Most of them are hit style workouts because I feel like I need some intense cardio to balance out my activity level right now. There are a few people's videos that I like more than others so I will have all of my favorites linked down below for you. But I've definitely really enjoyed following along to these videos and has made me feel a little bit better about my my workout routine and activity level. All right, so two more favorites. The first is a little bit of an odd one. I don't have anything to share with you for this, but I have been really into sneaker outfits lately, especially with how the weather has been. It's been too cold to wear sandals. We're way past sandal outfits, but it's not cold enough yet to wear boots, especially like the heavy winter boots that I really enjoy. And I do like mules and flats and stuff like that, but I feel like those are a little bit more dressy and not really appropriate for everyday life, especially right now when I don't have anything that I need to dress up for. So I've really been into sneaker outfits. I feel like they're the perfect in-between outfit for this kind of fall season that we're in right now. I've been posting a lot of sneaker outfits recently, I feel like, on my Instagram. So if you're not following me over on there, I will have it linked down below in the description box. But I've definitely been really into sneaker outfits, not even just during these past few weeks, but also throughout the summer too. It's just been a lot of months of wearing cute sneaker outfits and I'm not mad about it. They're really comfortable. I've definitely expanded outfits that I wear sneakers with. Typically in the past, I felt like it was only appropriate to wear sneakers whenever I was wearing leggings or more of like a workout fitness style outfit. But now I've kind of adopted wearing sneakers with jeans a little bit more and just using the sneakers to dress down an outfit. All right, and my last favorite is kind of another odd one. It's definitely more academic than the other ones. But um, as some of you may know, if you've watched like my Q&A videos or some of my vlogs, I am a pre-PA student. So I plan on going to PA school after undergrad and I can't tell you how long I've spent on PA school websites trying to gather all of the information and making an Excel chart of just all the requirements for schools and it's really difficult because a lot of schools have different requirements so you it's just a lot to balance and a lot of time spent on websites honestly so I was getting to the point where I was honestly spending too much time on the websites and I would rather spend more time obviously doing schoolwork now that classes have really been in full swing and honestly just thinking about my application in general and focusing on other things and not necessarily the requirements for all of the programs which is more of like on the technical side of things so I found this book on Amazon it's called the applicant's manual of physician assistant programs and this is the newest edition that they have and it's really nice because it just goes through all of the schools which is not a problem too you kind of um well you can find lists online of all of the physician assistant programs and honestly any all the grad school programs for that matter um this kind of applies to other master's level programs too because I'm sure they have books like this for other specialties but the book is really nice because it has all of the programs in here and then under each one which everyone is a page it has all of the information that you would ever need to apply like their mission statement um like class profiles from previous years prerequisites gpa requirements healthcare requirements um, all the hours and stuff like that and then it even has like a little section for unique program features which can be helpful um especially when you're going into interviews and stuff and honestly just picking a program in general so i have gone through this many times and just tagged a bunch of the schools that i am the most interested in so it's definitely been very very helpful and kind of saved me t the time from pulling all the information from websites. So I don't know how many of you are like me and planning to go to grad school, but if you are planning to either go to PA school, PT school, OT school, med school, basically any graduate level program, I would definitely see if there is a book like this for what you want to go into because it has been incredibly helpful and really helped me dwindle down the time that I spend on the websites for the programs. And although I'll still have to visit the websites for additional information and just kind of make sure that everything is indeed correct in here. It has just been really nice to not have to do that 
first and kind of I can use their website as like a secondary sort of thing to just finalize my decisions and make sure that I have everything correct. So that has been super helpful and another thing that I wanted to mention to you because it has been something that I spent a lot of time doing this past, past month and having everything in one place has kind of made it much more enjoyable. So that is why this is included in my September favorites. All right, so those were all of my favorites for the month of September that I wanted to mention to you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I try to do favorites videos every single month. So if you are excited about an October favorites, definitely give this video a thumbs up. I hope I will have a lot more fall stuff to mention for the month of October. I'm so excited for the fall season. I will have everything linked down below in the description box. That way, if you want to try out some of my favorites, you can do so. Like I said in the beginning, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel for more favorites videos and then just more beauty, lifestyle, and fashion related content in general. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed all of these favorites and I can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye.